is the Sammy and Cole and Fifi show. We are back again tonight and we are a dynamic mother-daughter duo where we basically discuss all things love, life, and relationships and pop culture. So tonight, uh, what are we going to be discussing? We're going to be discussing what you get plastic surgery if your spouse or significant other, your partner, asks you to do so. Yes, would you get cosmetic surgery? So if your spouse was like, you know what, babe, could you get a tummy tuck or a, a Brazilian butt lift or a boob job, you know, would you do it? You know, if your a partner Botox. said... Or Botox or Lipo or, you know, babe, I think you're gorgeous. It's just one thing, if I could change it about you... You know, if you could just get this one thing done, would you do it mm -hmm. for your partner? Nope. You wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it. You wouldn't do it. Absolutely not. I wouldn't do it. Because, you know, you have to take the good with the bad in relationships. We know That's why you don't get with someone just for a physical attraction. There has to be um, some type of love or some type of emotion attached instead of just a physical attraction because when you just have the physical attraction then after you together for 17 18 years we know that our bodies change and men their bodies change too yes around their midsection and even in the the, the private part area they can have ed <laughs> really <laughs> well just get right into it Samantha. i mean they do but that. as we get, get older, older yes but see but men they try to act like that there's no changes with them you know they can have a pot belly you know yeah. and their bodies can go through changes and it's okay but with women it's like okay well you know as we get older, our, our bodies go through changes, but it's like, okay, we want to run out and we want to have all this cosmetic surgery. But do you ever hear, hear a man saying, man, I'm going to have a tummy tuck. My wife asked me to go have a tummy tuck. Do you ever hear a man say that? No, you don't. No, no you, don't. you don't. You the don't. The pressure is put on the woman to keep yourself up to please the man. To please the man. That's how society has us thinking that we need to do. But... It, it it goes both ways. It's, it goes both ways. Things change as you get older. You know, things start to drop. Yeah, like for me, I the only way I could see myself agreeing to do cosmetic surgery is maybe after I have children. And like if I wanted right. to get like a mommy makeover, maybe get a breast lift. But you're going to do it for yourself. A life or something like that. Yeah, and through me doing it for myself, you know, my partner, mm -hmm. would he would benefit, benefit from it. But that's the only way I could see myself doing it. Right. Um, but I, I think like with social media... And Instagram models, it puts a lot of pressure, right. um, in particular, on women to look a certain kind of way. Because a lot of these women that you see on IG, you know, they have the hourglass figures, this little itty bitty ways, large, you know, buttocks, mm -hmm. you know, and they try to fake like they've been in the gym working out to get it. A lot of these women have full body lipo, Brazilian butt lift, and, and look, breast augmentation. Yeah. And so when you're looking at that, when you're scrolling through, you know, your timeline or through the explore mm -hmm. page on Instagram, I think it definitely, it can, if, especially if you're not secure uh, in who you mm -hmm. are, it puts a lot of pressure on women to feel like, okay, maybe cosmetic surgery isn't such a bad idea because, you know, they see men giving mm -hmm. all these women these different likes and these women have all these different followers because of their body and the results that their uh, surgery has given them from men. So it, it can definitely kind of skew the way women uh, view themselves and their body and their body images. Right, and then you come to find out that really probably half of those women after they have that cosmetic surgery they still have some emotional issues some internal issues yeah internal they fix issues. the physical but internally you can't fix that with surgery no you can't but you know it's it, it's like uh it works both ways with men and, and women you know 
if my spouse say, look, you know, I want you to go get a, a tummy tuck or I would do it for me, but it wouldn't be for him. You know, this is what you get. This is the good and the bad. So that's what you would tell your partner? Absolutely. If he was pressuring you? Absolutely. Although I said that I was going to go get me some cool sculpting done. Though. <laughs> anyway, for me. Now, what is cool sculpting for the people who don't know about that? Well, actually, it's a procedure where they well, go. You see how excited she got? <laughs> <laughs> it's a procedure where they go in and they take this machine. And actually, me and my husband, we looked at the procedure together. Just to he going to get some cool sculpting too? He no, going to get that one snatch. <laughs> <laughs> no we was just looking at it together to see what it was you know what oh, it was okay. about and okay, you know cool. what it if it was painful but they go in and they freeze the fat cells and they kind of dissolve through your like come out through water like mm -hmm. fluid when you urinate okay so i think i'm gonna try that okay yeah, I'm excited about the cool sculpting, but I'm doing it for me. Mm -hmm. My spouse didn't ask me to do it. I'm doing it because this is what I want to do. Now, if they would have had a mommy makeover 26 years ago when I had you, I would have been all for it. See, Generation X didn't have that mommy makeover thing. Well, millennials, we do. <laughs> if I need to, I'm getting me a mommy makeover. I don't care. I, you know, I wish that would be my had push it. gift. Because you can just get it done right there, have your baby, and get the mommy. Yep, get the mommy makeover and, and heal, you know, up no shame from the baby and, you know, from the cosmetic surgery. Mm -hmm. So you kill two birds with one stone. But Generation X, we didn't have that option. We didn't have that good old mommy makeover because I would have had it all done after I had you. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. But now you really have to be careful, though, with the cosmetic surgery, you know, with the implants and things like that. Yes. I've been seeing a lot of videos, you know, with women who are getting the implants or who are getting breast implants or if they're getting butt injections. Um, you know, they're inserting all type of foreign objects into their buttocks, like a Prime example, K. Michelle, for anybody who knows about that R&B mm -hmm. singer that was um, previously on Love & Hip Hop Atlanta, um, she recently got her butt reduced, but initially she uh, had butt injections, and the uh, materials that they injected inside of her butt, it was causing her mm -hmm. a lot of pain, and it was making her sick. And so, you know, she was just posting a lot of videos on social media, on Instagram, just basically in tears, like begging women mm -hmm. to educate themselves and to think twice um, if they Sad. do go through cosmetic surgery, mm -hmm. i.e. getting, you know, butt injections because she went through a lot with those foreign objects in her body. It was literally making her sick. Wow. So, and she she did that a, couple, a few times. She had... Yeah, she kept mm -hmm. pumping her butt. She kept pumping her butt, and she's done something with her face as well. It looks like her cheek bones or mm -hmm. something. So you know, it, it's I think it's all just it's a mental thing, yeah, insecurities like inside, and it's just like like I said, it's so much pressure. It used to be the TV shows and the magazine, but now with social media, media you have mm -hmm. Instagram and Facebook, so you're constantly being bombarded with these picturesque images of women, these unrealistic mm -hmm. images of women so it's like created even more pressure like a lot of these women they don't even look like that in real life they mm -hmm. had to get work done to look like that like they mm -hmm. let me rephrase that they weren't even born like that you know what right. i mean with that now, and don't get me wrong some women they do that i know some women who have three and four kids and they have babies and their stomach goes back but it's There's nothing not, wrong with that and but everybody's it, it body does, is different it's not like you know it does happen it does happen, but it's not perfect. You can tell, you know, that, you know, they just have that body type. But when you start to get cosmetic surgery, you can kind of tell because sometimes the hips and the thighs don't match the legs. That's important. You got to make sure the thigh to booty ratio is... <laughs> you get that big old booty, mm -hmm. that big old butzonka on. You got them little, little bitty legs. Mm -hmm. Like I, I hate. I don't want to say her name, but don't say it. Okay. <laughs> don't 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 say it. Don't say it. Don't She's say it, baby girl. Small and she used to be in a singing group. 
in the 90s. <laughs> <laughs> She's married to a rapper. Don't. Don't. Don't do Y'all it. can get but, yeah. <laughs> but no. But that's, you know, you kind of got to be proportion, you know, <laughs> just, just right. Yeah, because she looks like a Barbie doll. She does. Who, who you talking about? She looks, she Not looks. like a little ant. <laughs> Okay, let's move on. Okay. All, All right. women are beautiful. I don't want to Okay. But, nope, I wouldn't do it. Would you do it? You said, nope, you wouldn't do it if your husband asked you, right? Mm, no, the only way I would do it is, like I said, the mommy makeover. Yeah. After I had my last kid. But, you know, to eat. But I wouldn't do it. Like, if he came to me, he was like, Samantha, I think you're so beautiful. It's just, if you could just, if your booty could just get a little bit bigger. And I'd be like, uh... And then, you know, most men... No, sir. If your hmm hmm could get a little bit bigger, like, you know, you better but, go on with that. But why Try would... Why, why would why, this is what I don't understand. Why men... Most men know that they want a woman with a nice shape and a plump butt. But then they go get a woman that don't have a butt and then well, ask you have her to, to go get cosmetic well, surgery. Well, you have to understand, some of them, they can't, they can't really acquire the woman they really desire. They oh, either don't have the nice resources, profound. they don't have the charisma, oh, okay. they're not vibrating at the same level that said woman is, so they're not able to acquire her. So what they'll do is they'll settle and then try to upgrade the chick they set up for. And you but can't they do fail that. to meant, they fail to realize that she probably settling for you. Exactly. She probably wish yo, you know, mm -hmm. you were a little bit more articulate or a little bit more interesting mm -hmm. or a little bit more outgoing. Exactly. You know, she probably wish you weren't as close minded, mm -hmm. you know, so just like you but think. But men don't think like that. Men think. That's why you have to remind them. <laughs> they don't think like that. Right. It's like, men you don't think on like to that. me, but it's like, you could be a little bit more right. too. Mm -hmm. Like, it goes both ways. It goes both ways. You gotta, it can't always be about what you want. What about mm -hmm. me? You know, it's gotta be equal, you know. Your concerns are just as, my concerns are just as valid as yours. Right. And Some I just wanna like, I want you to point change. out one more thing about that cosmetic surgery. A lot of people get it. I know people that have gotten like cosmetic surgery like three and four times because once they get it, they don't work out, they don't eat right. And that's another that's and, a great point. When you mm -hmm. get those cosmetic surgeries, you have to work out and maintain it or you will gain the weight back like that. Right. You you will gain gain the weight back, so you have to continue to you eat right and work out. I've seen that happen a lot, and I think you can only have it done so many times mm -hmm. before you know you can't have it done anymore. Mm -hmm. Then but, you have to go overseas to like Colombia and get it done under the table. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. And I think now it's going for twelve hundred dollars. No, it's forty five. 45. Mm -hmm. oh, it's 45. They going up. <laughs> yeah, because y'all keep going over there. <laughs> but, now, you know, I don't I don't have, like I said, I'm going to get me some cool sculpting done. But I'm going to get it done because that's what people okay, well, want. When you do, we need to do a review video talking yeah. about your experience. Yeah, so I'm gonna, definitely going to share it, but I'm definitely going, but I'm going to get it because of me. And I heard that it works and, you know, I don't have to be cut and I don't have to worry about all that drainage. Now, will you maintain your Absolutely. your diet and your exercising routine? Because you, you know you're going to gain that weight back, girl, if you don't get it. Absolutely. If you don't keep it right, keep it tight in the gym now. Yep. I sure am, and I'm excited about it, but not because my husband asks, because that's what I want to do, because he has to take me as I am. Mm -hmm. I am who I am, right? Right. Just like you take him for who he is. Right. So, it's ladies, remember that. Remember that, that, you know, your mate, your spouse, they have to accept you for who you are, just like you accept them for who they are. Right. You know, and, and this, th what you see, this physical thing, it changes. That's why you have to have love and you have to be connected to your partner or your spouse because all of this fades away. And then what do you have after that? You have to have that foundation of love. You have to mm -hmm. stand on Everything has to stand on love because all of this goes away. We get older. Things change. So you have to have a foundation of love because when things start to break down, what do you have? You still have love. All and right, that's your foundation. foundation. All right, y'all. Right. You heard it from mom. The Generation X. Dropping jewels. Dropping nuggets. <laughs> All, right. All right. So, this concludes our video, guys. But please let us know down in the comment section. Would you get cosmetic surgery if your partner wanted you to? And on that note, it is Sammy Nicole and Fifi. We're going to be signing out. But please be sure to like, comment, 